Hello guys, hope you're all doing great. If you're new here, you are welcome to Life with Courage. And if you're not, thank you for always coming back. I appreciate your support. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, this is for the newcomers. Please make sure you do so. Stop coming and watching and going without subscribing. I'm begging you. Please subscribe so that the family can grow. So in today's video, we're talking about something that most mothers, let me say 80 to 90 percent of mothers experience with their babies. It could be from uh, six months of age or five months of age to about two years old. This is called baby separation anxiety. And when you hear anxiety, it means panic, it means fear or something. So Stay glued to this video in order to learn more about it and how to manage it. Welcome back to our video. So we'll be talking about separation anxiety in babies. For those who do not know, I am a first time mom to a seven months old. Is she seven months? She's not yet seven months old, guys. She'll be seven months old next week. So I'm a first time mom to a six months three weeks old baby and my baby has been going through this phase called separation anxiety which is a situation where whenever you leave the baby's side or you're about to leave the baby's side the baby starts crying the baby does not want to let you go because the baby feels you're going to disappear that's how when babies are growing up their minds tend to make them feel or something they tend to feel that once you are out of sight you are not going to come back or even if you're going just to the kitchen and you leave them in the living room they don't understand that you are just around them you have just stepped aside to do something for them you've just abandoned them and you have disappeared they feel you have gone out of this planet that's how they think that's how babies feel that's how they react and they cry and cry most moms can relate to this my baby has been doing this that all the time i want to step step away even if i want to go to the room she will start crying and it breaks my heart guys but there's nothing i can do i can't be carrying her everywhere even to the bathroom it is difficult and she's growing bigger and growing heavier and she weighs a lot and it's difficult for me to carry her everywhere every time so i have tried to find out how to manage separation anxiety which is what my baby is experiencing and most moms have gone through it or are going through it now or are still to go through it so i hope whatever i'm going to say in this video is going to help you cope with that situation when it arises or if you're facing it now, it's going to help you better handle the situation at this moment. Firstly, you should never try to sneak out on your baby. For example, you want to go out to maybe keep the baby with her nanny or the other parent or a school teacher if the baby is going to preschool and you try to sneak out. It will instead worsen the anxiety, the feeling the baby has because you didn't prepare the baby's mind to know that you are going. It is better to prepare the baby's mind. So let's avoid sneaking out because it will worsen this anxiety. Secondly, give a distraction to the baby before you leave. For example, you can give the baby a toy to be playing with. Then you leave and go. That is different from sneaking out. Sneaking out is you just take the baby by surprise. You just leave without even making the baby baby's mind occupied with something else. But distraction, you give the baby something the baby likes and which will occupy the baby's mind for some minutes. This is for when you want to do something which will, which will not take a lot of time just step into the room or into the kitchen the baby won't really realize it that you stepped away also the third point which is making sure the baby is comfortable before you leave if you have to leave the baby with a nanny or 
the other parent or anybody taking care of the baby it could be the grandparent a sibling make sure you hand over the baby sit down for about one to two minutes do not overdrag the procedure do not overdrag it because it will lose its essence sit down for a few minutes make sure the baby is comfortable with them and you stand up and wave the baby goodbye and leave the baby will definitely cry but you are sure that the baby is going to be able to stay calm after some minutes that's when you must have left so make sure the baby is comfortable before you leave do not force the baby into another person's hands and run out that is not the best way make sure the baby is comfortable with that person sit for some time then you can get up and leave and the last point which i have for separation anxiety in babies is to set a departure routine or a separation routine let me say separation routine make sure when you want to go you call the baby's attention by saying either see you later baby see you later my love you can blow a kiss for now the baby will resist and sometimes cry because she's watching you leave because she doesn't understand that you're just going to come back for her you're leaving her you're abandoning her you're disappearing so do not feel too bad when she cries i know most parents or all parents it's not easy watching your baby cry or hearing your baby screaming when you step out of the house but you have to set that routine and be consistent anytime you have to leave you greet the baby say see you later my love you blow a kiss if you can do that and you go do not do that and stand there and start playing again with the baby you confuse the baby the baby will not understand what is actually happening and what you are trying to set so firstly make sure you do not sneak out on the baby secondly give a distraction to the baby if you are just stepping out for some minutes out of sight for some minutes thirdly make sure the baby is comfortable wherever the baby is before you leave and lastly make sure you set a separation routine or a goodbye routine so that the baby learns that whenever you're going, you're going to come back. And also, there's something I want to add. For babies, once you're out of sight, they feel like you're out of mind, you're out of this world, you're out of their lives. That's why they react that way. So it is a normal thing they experience while growing. It's a sign of maturity. It's a sign that they're growing. The sign that their brain is developing properly so do not feel bad that whenever you're leaving your baby is crying it is normal do not feel you're doing something wrong you're not doing anything wrong what you need to do now is learn how to manage this separation anxiety which is going to be beneficial for yourself and for the baby and for anyone around thank you so much for watching this video till this point if you have not subscribed to this channel, I reiterate, please subscribe, stop watching and going away. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also check out other videos on my channel. You could be interested in any. And please leave us a comment so that we know how you feel about the video. Tell us how your experience is with the baby. If you are experiencing separation anxiety and how you're managing it. See you guys in the next video and goodbye.